What's up you guys and welcome back to another video. I am going to be showing you today my new glute warm up and glute activation that I like to do on my glute state. So make sure to save this video for your next glute date. So for the first warm up what I like to do is I like to reach down in a low squat while holding my toes and then I come up while keeping my legs fully extended and still holding my toes. So this is really going to help you open up your hip flexors which are muscles that you're definitely going to use while you're doing glute exercises. If you guys cannot hold your toes then just hold on to your ankles while you squat as low as possible and then make sure you still hold on to your ankles as you come up from that squatting position. Alright so next what we're going to do is we're going to do some lateral leg lunges but we're going to go from side to side so we can really go through the full range of motion and this is just going to stretch out those side glutes so the gluteus medius. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually opening my legs way beyond my shoulders and I'm going from side to side keeping one leg completely extended and straight while the other leg is bended. So you're going to feel the stretch in your hamstring which is the muscle behind your leg and you should feel it in the leg that's ex fully extended as you go from side to side. So next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stretch out our quads. So you want to place one foot in front and then the other foot you want to be kneeling down. You can put a pad down if you want to really protect your knee and you don't want to be too harsh on that knee. And you're just going to lean forward into that knee and then you want to lean back into your butt if that makes sense. So you should really feel the pull and the stretch in the leg that's on the ground and not the leg that's planted on the floor. We're going to do 30 seconds with the right leg and then we're going to switch over and do 30 seconds with the left leg. So once I finish doing my stretches, I start and go ahead into my glute warm up activation exercises. So first what I do is I do squats and I do it for about 30 seconds regular squats with my body weight. Super important you guys when you're doing a squat, you really want to make sure that you keep your core engaged, you have your spine neutral and you don't want your knees to track over your toes. You want it to be aligned with your toes so you don't want to shift your weight forward and as you come up you want to push through the heel of your feet. Alright, so next what we're going to do are some kickbacks. So this is really going to activate those glutes and fire those muscles up. So you want to go down on all fours, extend one leg out, starting with the right leg for me. And you're just going to want to kick that leg up to the point where you feel it contracted under your glutes. Squeeze your glutes at the top and then bring that foot right back down, slightly tapping the ground. Okay, so you want to really make sure here that your core is engaged, your back is straight, and you're not over kicking to the point where you're arching your back. So we're going to do 30 seconds with the right leg, and then I switch over and do 30 seconds with the left leg. So the next glute activation exercise I like to do are glute bridges. This is definitely you guys going to get your glutes fired up before you do a glute workout. So for this, super important to have your feet parallel to your shoulders, both feet planted flat on the ground. You want your lower back touching the ground. So sink that stomach in, keep that core engaged and you want to thrust your hips up to the ceiling, squeeze it at the top, your glutes, and then bring it right back down.
So for our last glute activation exercise, we are going to do some frog pumps. So for this exercise, it's just like a glute bridge, but instead of having your feet planted on the ground, you actually want to stick them together like I'm doing. So you kind of form a frog position, hence the name frog pumps. And you just want to thrust your hips up to the ceiling like we did earlier, squeezing your glutes at the top, keeping that core engaged, and you want to make sure your lower back touches the ground as you go down. So you don't want to have an arch in your lower back. We're going to do this for 15 more seconds, and then we are done. 